Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of Smart Counsel for Lunch. I'm Brittany Nahosa Citrin, an associate attorney at the law firm of Samuel Sayward and Baylor in Dedham, Massachusetts. We concentrate our practice in the areas of estate planning, elder law, probate, and estate and trust administration. Um, today, I wanted to discuss an article that I recently read. Um, it was an opinion essay that was recently published in the New York Times, and it was about the rising costs of private caregiving for people who need long-term care. Uh, so I thought it'd be a good idea to look at the statistics that were presented in the article as a reminder to look at your plan and decide how you will prepare for potential long-term care costs for you and your loved ones, because those costs are certainly on the rise and they will just continue to increase. <laughs> um, but the opinion article pointed out um, some studies and some statistics. Uh, the U.S. Department of Health and, S and Human Services found that 70% of adults who live to age 65 develop critical needs for long-term care, uh, for long-term care services and supports before they die. Even though these people need long-term care, only 48% receive some paid care over their lifetime. Um, many older people with long-term care needs rely exclusively on family and unpaid caregivers, unfortunately. Um, and only 3 to 4% of Americans 50 and older pay for a long-term care policy. Uh, so these stark statistics serve as a reminder to be proactive and start planning for the future, including the possibility that you may need these long-term care services and supports um, and the costs are just increasing. So it's good to look at your plan and be proactive and decide what you're gonna do. Um, and although we don't necessarily provide these services uh, or issue long-term care insurance policies, uh, we can look at your situation and help you determine whether long-term care planning is right for you and your family. Uh, so if you would like more information on this um, or any other topics relating to estate planning, um, or elder law, uh, please visit our website, um, and you may also contact us and have a consultation with one of our attorneys. Um, and there's other articles you can read on our website as well to those issues. Uh, so thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.